It's not the fight we expected, but before the end of the year, Paul Gallen will be back in the ring, facing off against former NRL adversary Darcy Lussick. There is no love lost between the two, with Lussick keen to make his mark against the NRL great. For Lussick, this is one of the first steps in what could be an illustrious boxing career. For Gallen, it is potentially the last time he will step in the ring. Lussick steps in to replace Josh Alloyer, who contracted COVID-19, and will no doubt give Gallen a run for his money. Will Gallen put a stop to the plucky upstart, eager to make the most of his chance, or will it be two losses in a row for the Cronulla Sharks icon? Let's break it down. This is By The Numbers. Gallen may have the bigger reputation, but he'll be the smaller man inside the ring, with Lussick holding a five and a half inch height advantage. This won't be new ground for Gallen. At five foot 10, he has only stood taller than two of his 13 opponents, Herman Eni Purcell and Mark Hunt. Gallen also comes in eight years Lussick senior, so he will be eager to prove that age is just a number. This gives Gal an opponent two inches taller and six years older than he was preparing for when he thought he was fighting Alloy A. For Lussick, this will only be the second time he has fought, following a brisk 39 second fight in which he knocked out Justin Hodges. Despite Gallen having 13 times as much experience as Lussick, it is the challenger who is riding the winning streak. Gallen coming off his loss to Justice Hooney. Gallen is currently staring down the prospect of a losing year for what would be the first time in his seven year boxing career. He has also been busy this year. His three fights against Brown, Hooney and now Lussick equal his most fights in a year, 2017. In terms of the actual fight, it has the potential to be explosive. Lussick's sole victory came as a TKO, while six of Gallon's 11 wins have been knockouts, giving him a knockout rate of 54%. Lussick's limited experience will keep him in league with many of Gallon's previous opponents. Of his 13 adversaries, 10 of them have had two or less fights. But while Lussick may not be an expert in the boxing ring, he is no stranger to fights, having taken part in a few throughout his rugby league career. In 2011, he was suspended three games for his role in the Battle of Brookvale, and was also sent off in 2017 after punching a St George Illawarra Dragons player. Speaking of the NRL, this fight will not be Gallen and Lussick's first battle. Over the course of their respective NRL careers, they faced each other seven times. Gallen has the edge in their footy clashes, winning four of the seven matchups with Lussick throughout his time with both the Manly Sea Eagles and the Parramatta Eels. Can Lussick pull off an all-time upset? Or will Gallen fly off into the sunset on top?